All right, so this mess of components that I have on my table here is the seven speed transmission out of the CLK 500. Uh, the seven speed transmission is also referred to as the Mercedes 722.9 transmission. It's first offered in 2004 uh, in the rear wheel drive models. Around 2007, they started offering it in all wheel drive models. By 2010, it was in just about everything uh, except the really high powered applications like the V12 twin turbo stuff or sprinter vans, things like that. In this case, uh, my vehicle was not shifting properly into fourth gear. I would get either a flare, it would slip, um, or on really hard throttle, I would get harsh engagement. So knowing that it was occurring specifically in fourth gear, I know that the primary uh, drum, the K2 drum, is the one that is responsible for that kind of behavior. Uh, I went ahead and I got a replacement K2 drum preemptively, and I've, I got fresh frictions as well. I decided to tear the transmission apart to really get a good look at what's going on, and I wanted to show you guys that as well. Uh, here's what happened. Basically, this is that K2 drum that I'm referring to. What you'll notice is there's a lot of bluing and heat damage. Uh, the way this guy works is there's a piston. Uh, it applies uh, against some clutches that sit in here. Um, applying that along with applying other members in the transmission gets you fourth gear. Uh, there's a piston and then there's a balance piston in the center. The balance piston in this drum actually blew all the way out. Um, instead of moving just the small amount that it's supposed to, it applied against the clutches that sit inside of here and the clutches burned up. I'll show you what the clutches look like next. So these are the clutches for that drum. Uh, what you'll notice is everything in here looks like a steel. It's concave. There's no friction material left. It's in really bad condition. For reference, this is an example of what healthy clutches look like. This is from a different member in the transmission, but basically what you'll notice is you've got frictions on one side because these are single-sided frictions. Uh, the other side you have steels. So. To repair the problem, uh, like I said, I got a K2 drum out of a different vehicle. In this case, I got one out of a CLK 550. Very easy to find these drums because they're basically um, in just about every seven speed transmission. You just need to match them up correctly. So I got the new K2, I got new frictions. I got the uh, latest revision from Mercedes for that balance piston. Part number is 221-272-0464. Uh, doesn't come with the O-ring, so of course I got the O-ring in my gasket kit. These transmissions are relatively easy to assemble and disassemble, so I figured while I have everything blown apart, I'll just very quickly show you how these things come together. Super, super simple. So I've got the K1 here. Um, well, let's start with what I have here. I have the bell housing for the transmission here with the stator support, the transmission pump, um, all as one unit. I have this cheap piece of shit Ikea table that I have drilled a hole in. I hope you can see the hole. Basically, Ikea tables are good for nothing except what I'm doing here now. The reason why I have a hole drilled in it is because when I send the K2 into the transmission, um, if I don't have that hole, it will hit the table and the transmission will lift up and I won't be able to assemble it. So, uh, you start with your K1, throw it in. That's in. Uh, next thing we're going to do is our B3. It's indexed. It only goes one way. You'll notice that here. So you're going to line that up and you send it, send it in. It's indexed to this hole here. There's um, a feed. So if the holes are not lining up, you're going to have other issues. Um, next thing we have is our clutch hub, our B3 to K1 clutch hub, which is way back here. Uh, we're going to send that all the way down. Try to get everything to align in one shot. There we go. Now that that clutch hub is in, uh, we can send our front planetary section. Front planet's in. This section here is held in by a snap ring. So I'm just putting the ring in. are that's in that's all together 
um, and then we can send our K2 in. Uh, the speed of the rotation for the K2 is read off of this ring, um, and it's kind of behind here. I'm just going to drop that in. There we are. That's all the way down. Um, next thing we want to do is we have our rare section with our K3 and our rare planet. That's actually not going all the way down. Uh, so I'm going to pull it out, realign the clutches, and then it'll slide all the way in. Once your clutches are aligned properly, uh, should have no trouble sliding in. There we are. All right, so now that that's in, last component is going to be the ring gear. Just slide your ring gear all the way down. I like to do the ring gear last because if you don't, uh, if you put the ring gear onto this drum first, and then send the rare planet in K3 in, it's really hard to align. So do that last. There we are, full engagement. We're gonna send the snap ring in. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So uh, if you do need to do work on this transmission, it doesn't require a lot in the way of special tools. Um, and if you have the resources, it is a very easy transmission to work with, so I would recommend uh, giving it a try.